Practicing patterns are great ways to get new ideas and breathe fresh new sounds into your playing. I'm going to show you four patterns that you can start working on today. Like anything, you have to put enough time into practicing something before you can get them into your playing well enough to use it in a natural way. String skipping is a great way to get a modern sound by incorporating leaps. To start things off, you might be aware of this well-used, some might even say worn out pattern. But now, simply take the exact same idea, but do it on every other string by skipping a string. You see where I'm going with this? So instead of this, you get this. And this. This pattern works best on scales that have three notes per string. You can work your way up the fretboard in different positions, staying in one key. I really like this next pattern because it's musical and it lands on the chord tones in the right places to help spell out the chord so it sounds strong, yet twists the ear in a really cool way. Try working it out on other chord tones, not just the root. Apply it to other chord types like minor chords and dominant 7 chords and play flat 9s and flat 13s to impart different flavors. You can really get a lot out of this pattern. If you'd like to support my channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and YouTube will let you know when my next video comes out. If you want to show even more support, you can become a member of my private group at Patreon where there's exclusive content. And each month we get together and have a cool hangout online. I'll leave a link so you can check it out. Fifths have a very modern sound. Check out this pattern that uses diatonic fifths. Notice it's six out of seven notes on a major scale. If you could physically play all the notes laid out at the same time, it would be a G major 7 13 chord. Cool, right? Here's a Dorian sound over G minor 7. See if you can morph those into working over other chord types. Fourths can give you a modern sound as well. Here's a great modal pattern. The chord is stacked in fourths, which definitely gets you a modern sound. Here I'm thinking F7 chord. F7 comes from B flat major, so I'll play these stacked fourths, otherwise known as chordal harmony, up the fretboard trying to stay in the key of B flat. In other words, playing the notes only from B flat major scale. Even though piano players like McCoy Tyner, Chick Corea, and Herbie Hancock did this stuff back in the 60s. Except for Lenny Bro, I haven't heard very many guitarists do this. Now I'll take the first string and I'll play this pattern while at the same time playing the stacked fourth chords. Mm -hmm. 
we can't do what a piano player does because they have two hands to do it where we only have one hand to do it. But we can get something that at least sounds a lot less guitaristic. Does that mean that all guitarists have pianist envy? <laughs> Maybe we do sometimes. May I know I do. Do you have pianist envy? Things that can be done on piano but challenging to do on guitar? Let me know in the comments. I'll play through an F blues and I'll mark out what tonal centers I'm thinking while playing through it. not want to do something like this for that long in a real world playing scenario, but this is just practice, right? Make sure you check out these videos over here to help you get more ideas on practicing jazz. Mm -hmm. 